What are the differences that you've seen between the effects on yourself of mushrooms versus um, Site K? Hmm. There, Site K, I feel like in some ways can get a lot more specific. Hmm. I feel like mushrooms, um, in my mind, the mushroom has a spirit. And the spirit, whenever I'm in my journeys, typically will sort of guide me I'll set an intention for what I hope to experience, but I sort of say, or whatever else you think is more important. And I, I let the experience unfold how it will and let myself be guided. With Site K, um, you're more consciously guiding the process. Mm. And the super conscious can kind of step in and change that. But for the most part, you come into a session knowing there's this one aspect of my life that I'm really struggling in and I have these unsupportive beliefs right now I really just want to like reprogram those and you know if I can do that um then this part of my life will be better and I'll be happier yeah one I mean one thing I worked on a lot was public speaking which has always been a big fear of mine and I have always been nervous to do that kind of thing and I was so frustrated when like one site k balance didn't work for that and so I just I had to keep balancing um Oh, balancing is like, is the process. That's what it's called in Site K speak. So I kept balancing for different aspects of this. And um, what benefits am I getting from being afraid of public speaking and just attacking it from different angles? Yeah. So that is kind of the Site K approach. Um, although there are other ways also to approach it with that modality. But I feel like with psychedelics, you could maybe intend to explore your fear about public speaking in a journey and I mean what you see might be entirely mind-blowing and something you never would have come up with on your own 